Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. Landsweeper has recently posted and released a new report about the adoption rate of the Windows 11 operating system. Now Landsweeper says that their results were achieved for this report by surveying 10 million PCs and out of those 10 million PCs, 20% were enterprise and 80% were consumer PCs. And this report was posted, I think, on the 12th of April. So that was just a couple of days ago. Now, in this report, Landsweeper says, Windows 11 adoption rates revealed some interesting data as only 1.44% of users have made the jump to Windows 11. And then they go on to say that for the moment, Windows 10 remains the most popular Windows operating system. Now, this does more or less fall in line, not exactly, but more or less does fall in line with the Ad Duplex survey that Ad Duplex did for the month of March of this year, 2022. And I did post a video on that survey at the end of March where Ad Duplex also indicated in their survey that um, Windows 11's growth had stalled uh, for the month of March as well. And they had also mentioned in their survey that um, Windows 10 had also and was also holding the highest percentage when it came to market share of the Windows um, operating system installed on desktop PCs uh, worldwide. Now, one thing we must just remember, though, with these uh, surveys and reports done by these different companies, that they uh, do use different uh, methods to achieve their results. So although they do give us a good indication you know, of market shares and percentages of the Windows operating system. They are not 100% completely accurate. So just keep that in mind. Now, if we just go to a pie chart taken from Landsweeper's um, report about the adoption rate of Windows 11, as mentioned, Windows 11 um, is running on 1.44% of PCs, which means that's a lower percentage than Windows 7 and Windows XP which are both um, versions of Windows that have reached the end of life and are no longer supported. So Windows 7, yeah, we can see is installed on 4.70% of, of, uh, of PCs. And Windows XP, believe it or not, is still installed on 1.71% of PCs. And then as mentioned, uh, Windows 10 is uh, still installed on the most uh, PCs and is installed on 80.34% of PCs and this does more or less as mentioned uh, give us the same indication especially with Windows 10 that um, uh, Ad Duplex uh, mentioned in their survey for the month of March. Now one thing uh, Landsweeper uh, mentions in this report and I'm just going to quote this quickly they say that although the rate of adoption is increasing bit by bit it's obvious that Windows 11 upgrades aren't going as fast as Microsoft had hoped especially within the business environment. And then they go on to say, many organizations have been put off from having to buy new machines that meet these conditions, while others are simply happy with the current existence of Windows 10, which continues to be supported until 2025. And I think for most businesses that is obvious, and I think that is an obvious statement uh, to make. And I have posted on this previously where businesses are, uh, due to training and obviously overheads and cost, are... Um, um, taking it a lot slower by upgrading to Windows 11 because obviously that means there is staff training and obviously overheads um, which come out of your profits to um, purchase machines and upgrade to Windows 11 especially if your machines um, do not support the Windows 11 operating system and I will um, leave a link down below uh, to this uh, report by Landsweeper if you are interested as there is some interesting information and also I will leave a link down below to the Ad Duplex uh, survey video I did at the end of March as well in case you were interested but nonetheless I just thought this would make an interesting video as Windows 11 according to Landsweeper is only installed on 1.44% of PCs worldwide so thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one